It's the end of March. I haven't done any inspecting of stocks yet, but I do know that some of them are expanding very quickly and need more room, whereas others are on the point of starvation. One way of trying to cure both problems is to get some sticky supers out onto the bees. These supers are just as they were left after the heather honey was extracted last year. So a queen excluder's on the truck. Um, that framework there prevents the pallets of boxes sliding into them and damaging the queen excluders. My honey boxes, supers, are stacked in my shed on pallets, anywhere up to 12 high. For ease of transport, I like to strip them all down to 6 or 7 high. 8 occasionally if I have to, but uh, 6 or 7 really. Each stack of boxes has been covered with a clear board, so I take that off and then uh, restack them in sixes. The top one or two I have to lift individually. Once I get down them off, I can lift the others two at a time. Makes it a bit quicker. Some of these boxes are deceptively heavy and they've got quite a bit of granulated honey left in them. The first day or two of this sort of work really tells on me, but I soon get used to it. Got two. It's then a case of a clearer board back over each stack. I then reach for my trusty doofer doofer out and use that to thread the uh, straps under the pallets. The doofer is just a shelf bracket stuck on the end of a brush shaft. Put the uh, bracket through the ratchet strap under the pallet and flick it off. Then just repeat the process for the other side of the pallet. Then just pull the uh, ratchets up and over the pallet to meet the tail ends, fasten them up job done. When I had the back for this pickup made, it should have been six or eight inch wider. Would have made uh, life a lot easier. Five or six months without doing this. So it's all gone in the blink of an eye this winter. And here we are. Back in the boxes. That's really what it's all about. Lifting and carrying these. These are stock that wants the super put them straight on. They do vary an awful lot my stuff. My colony the bees and uh, the main reason for coming round at this time so early and, and checking them is for the ones like this. A lot don't really need any, anything yet, but one like this does. In fact, I might even give them a couple. Just check the weight while I'm here. Yeah, they're fairly light. So, uh, some of them circles have quite a bit of granulated onion. It'll be a, a pretty thing. I'll put the bit of fondant back over the top. I might go and take it. 
Blackthorn's looking really well this year. Fantastic displays. Basically get a bit of pollen off that. With the nectar perhaps it's too cold at the moment. It's gone four o'clock. Tuesday the second of April and it's just cooling off. Blackthorn flowers and no leaves. And then next door the hawthorn just opening up leaves, but those flowers will be away off yet. Proper mix in this edge. Taking some fondant with us. Queen excluders on. Another two pallets of boxes, 48 in total. We'll try and uh, get some more sorted out today. But perhaps the most useful bit of equipment today is going to be this. Yeah, it's going to be so wet. Uh, I'm not going to get my truck onto some of the sites. Just wanted to get some of those boxes down on those hives down here. Not too far away, yeah. Uh, but I don't want to reverse down because it rained all day yesterday. It looks fairly solid. I know there's water stood on top, but it isn't. It's fairly soft underneath here in places. And I'll make a hell of a mess. So... It isn't my land. I feel like it's beholden on me to make as little mess as possible. So uh, I'm just going to barrow the boxes down. As I say, this site isn't so bad. I'm not too far away. Some of the other sites, hmm, it's going to be a bit of a fight. Just carry the queen excluded down for each hive. I'll go and uh, I'm going to go and barrow some boxes down now. 12 here, so if I bring two lots of six down, that should do. Uh, the wettest winter I've ever known has turned into a very wet early spring. Horrible. These honey boxes are just as, the, as they were put back in the shed after extracting there, the honey. Um, there must have been a fair bit of flower honey that granulated prior to me extracting that head. Uh, quite heavy, so that granulated only nuisance as it, as it seemed to be at the time. Um, could actually be a lifesaver now for these bees. I could be glad of this. I set off without strapping them, they were sliding about, so put a clearer board back on the top box prevent the strap getting sticky and I find these span set straps real handy for anything like this for moving bees I, I, want, I like ratchet straps I'm not keen on the span set but they're all right for this sort of job right it's so cold I don't really want to delve into these hives too much uh, I don't quite know what I'm going to do with this get a lid off and see where we stand it's bitterly cold and these hives are light so light almost at the empty. So I really want to take the crown bar off, put the crane excluder on and then reassemble above that. I'm a bit worried they're going to come up and build comb in this gap, but as cold as it is, I want to keep the disturbance to a minimum. They're so light I'm giving them another slab of fondant, possibly unnecessary, but it's better that than a dead stock of bees. I'm giving them that. And then putting the queen excluder over the top of that and I'm just asking for trouble I'm asking for a bit of wild comb in there but I'll get back as soon as I can when it warms up a bit and then I'm putting them in a different super there's more weight in that super than there is in the rest of the hive that's how light they are so I'm just putting that over there warm for a bit they'll come up that'll keep them going uh, I am asking for, for comb to be built in this gap here I know but sometimes you got to do what you think is right, and I don't know if this is right. I have this all the time with this job. I'm no expert. Just as 
simple country baykeeper doing the best I can. I think they're just on the edge of starvation, this lot. So, just do what I can. More fondant, sticky soap was going on, and hoping for the best. Just the empty fondant bags. Blowing about. Have I achieved what I set up to do at this site? No, not really. Uh, I've had to compromise again, the big C word with this job, I think, all the time. It's just so cold, bitterly cold. And uh, my main concern was that they were going to starve. These, these bees, this particular site here, have been hungry all winter. They're the lightest stocks I think I've probably ever known. Uh, and they've been that way since Christmas, really. So, uh, yeah. I'm, I think I've, I've done something. If I've done something today, well, at least I'm pretty sure they're not going to starve. Now. They're going to be okay for the next 10 days, whatever the weather does. Uh, I mean, it might pick up tomorrow, it might be beautiful. And if that's the case, well, I can come back and rearrange things as I want them. But, uh, yeah, so, so I suppose I've achieved something. They're not going to starve. So this is basically how I had to leave them. Flower brew box, obviously. That's the uh, crown board and the rims I have on. There's the queen excluder. Below the rim, I really wanted that queen excluder there, right on top of the brew box. Then I could have put the, the crown board back on if they're only small, small stock. Then the rim, then the super. And my concern with leaving them like this is that if, if suddenly conditions improve and they're a strong stock, they're going to come up and fill this gap here with uh, with comb, draw comb and start honey in it. And then the queen might even come up and start to lay a brood and that comes a real headache. But um, I've had to leave the rims like that because they've all got fondant on. They are very hungry. And uh, we just don't know how long this, this poor weather's going to last. Could be a days, could be weeks. Maybe it's going to be one of them summers, we just don't know. They are nuisance these bonded bags once I've emptied them really. Checking the bees out. Well, they're trapped in. It is a faff on. There's so much of what I do. I'll have that off. There's a bit of fondant left in there, but nice looking stock. They're not all like this. I have a lot of poor ones. I've had a lot of winter losses as well, so... I'm just going to give them a heft before I do anything. By the light. They are light. Stick a queen excluder on. Let's see if I can find a heavy... Heavy soap for heavy one. That's fairly heavy. Keep them going, I'll be ready for that. Better. Have that little bit of fondant that's left. I'm never sure what you're going to find with each lid you lift. Get out the fondant bags. Take that off. Things come out. We'll get it back. The rim off. Crown board's dropping to bits here, look. It's coming away in two bits. <laughs> Repair needed. Oh dear. Check there's no queenie on there. Right, I'll repair that before I put it back on. The heft. Oh, and they're light as well. Not that heavy that one, that super, so I'll give them more fondant. There's that crown board I've just taken off. Just falling to bits, just wants a couple of nails in it. Put it back right. And just get it to 
slot back together by hand. with me at all times a container it has nails also include hopefully some little frame nails I think will be alright for this job just little frame pins I think they'll hold this together I think we need a restock in the uh, nail bucket. Uh. There we are. That'll do. In a couple of minutes I've been to repair that crown board, they're, uh, they're up and under that sticky soap. A half bag of uh, fondant back, and I'm going to give them another one as well, just in case. There isn't that much honey in that soap, so I don't know how long the bad weather's going to last. So and Yeah, should be okay now for a while. Another stock secured against starvation, hopefully. One like this, it's sort of occupying mm, just over half the brood chamber. What two about there? They're on six or seven frames. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, what I'll do with them, I think, I'll put the queen excluder there. They are fairly heavy. Well, not massively heavy, but heavier than most of the others. The clusters at this side, so I'll put the crown board with that opening there, directly over the bees. So can come up and uh, clean out the sofa. I won't get a sofa for it. Let's see how it is. That back over there. That feels better. Oh, nice stuff. Funny. Some sites are predominantly good stocks, and other sites are predominantly really weak and awful. Awesome. What is it to do with. Hmm. Not massively heavy, like. Eh? Come on, girls. Come on. Just jiggle it like that, trying to get the bees to clear out the way. There's a lot of stuff on it. Hmm. As strong as they are. That box isn't massively heavy. So what I'm going to do... They're so strong, they're going to come up on that sofa. Straight away, I would think. Clean it out. But the honey that's in there might not last them long, so I'm going to give them another block of fondant. Is that necessary? Probably not, but I don't know. It's just there's nothing worse than getting to this time of year and having stock starve on you for the sake of a, you know, one pound fifty, two quid, whatever it is, block of fondant. I'd rather waste it than lose a stock of bees, so, and I don't think it will be wasted. Somewhere down here, there's a stock that's a little bit spiky. It might be this one, the way they're all out there. I hope to find out. Clean as a whistle. There. I find it easy just to rip the bags and shake the bees out. Whoa. I'm not keen on leaving some of them. Right, this looks to be another good stock. As I say, these aren't representative of my entire outfit. I have uh, some sites are not very good at all, so. I don't know whether it's to do with where they are on the heather. I'm getting 
entire sites that are good and other entire sites that are bad. You always get a few odd weak and not strong in any site, but collectively as a whole, these are pretty good. Some of the best I have, I would think. And I'm not deliberately filming for that reason. Massively heavy though, again. I think it's been one of them years I've just used an awful lot of stores. I think all stocks over the entire country are like that this time. Concentrate, man, concentrate. Oops. I think this could be the spiky one. Ooh. Might just pop here. Not, not too bad. Obviously just checking the ground board that there's no queen on there. I don't want to bang them off and... Only to lose a queen in the grass. Ah, hell. Not massively heavy, but heavier than a lot. So. It's a fairly light box that one, so... Oh, I'll stick them off one. Oh, will I? Mmm, um and um and This one isn't so strong. Just taking one empty fondant bag off here, there's another one there they've almost used it up. Not quite. And then this one's been put on away from the cluster, the cluster must be in here and they haven't touched it really. Yeah. Anyway, I'll put that back on for them. Find the hive tool. I must spend tens of hours every year uh, hunting for the hive tool. I'm hearing me say that, but yeah, it's just. I think there could have been a few lost to starvation this time. Mm. And they're not that strong. So, what I'm going to do, clusters mainly over here. Wasn't it? Yeah. I'm going to put that on like that. Give them the unused fondant. It goes a bit hard there, it's going to be hard, so I'll just I'll dig a bit of fresh out. I've got some soft going at, some soft stuff to go at. Put that over there all there. Put that part used one back on. Just rip it so they can get in and out of the bag. Lock them in. Nah, it should be all right like that. And then I'll just stick a super on top of that one. Clean it out if they want. And there we have it, two on the top that aren't so good. This one bees from there to there, maybe. Yeah, three or four frames. And bees on. I'll put an excluder on anyway. Keep that queen down there. 
not that they're going to expand up in many times, any time soon. Right, the cluster's sort of middle to this side. I'll put this fondant back on for them. Turn a bit of fresh going for them, a bit of softer stuff. Near my big mouth, just when I've been saying how good this site was overall. We've had two weak ones and then a didn't. So there's a spot in on there. I uh, Later, I think. There we are. Oh, nothing but drawn brood. So they were doomed anyway. I'm sure I'll find more of them once I get properly into them and start inspecting them. Just an observation at this base site. That blackthorn there is still well out. Most of it's uh, brilliant white. There's odd bits starting to go back over. But overall, yeah, still well in flower. If we come just round the corner here, this site I've just worked through. Oops. And the black thorn there is all but gone. I can only think on the odd warm day we've had, a warm half day maybe, the bees have been out and absolutely covered that black thorn. Pollinated it. Yeah, it's the most advanced I've seen anywhere around here. And even when we get a few yards from the hives there, that's still fairly white. I can't think of any other explanation.